Hello friends, welcome to TechWest channel. This is for the medical technologist by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about linearity or calibration verification errors. Please watch my earlier video on calibration verification linearity to understand better about linearity. <laughs> the common errors or the issues with linearity studies could be with the instrument, the improper calibration mix up with the linearity samples or most of the time the clerical error during entry or calculations. During pre-analytical steps, human error is often involved. It is the materials are not prepared or stored properly. The amount of analyte may be incorrect or may deteriorate over time. Systemic error can be made using imprecise pipette calibration, samples may be incorrectly labeled or otherwise incorrectly matched for content and testing. Analytic errors can be seen in various steps during analysis of linearity samples. Please watch my video about calibration in medical lab instruments to understand better and the importance of calibration in the lab instruments. It is good to check maintenance of the instrument, quality control reports and calibration logs before running linearity testing to identify measurements that are out of control. This can provide some evidence and directions to eliminate the errors before running linearity. The commercially available linearity samples are expensive and the study takes long time to complete the study. So, you cannot waste the samples and the time. Potential common analytical problems are wavelength shift of spectrophotometer, dirty or aging optics and dirty or elevated background of reaction cuvettes improperly prepared reagents, expired reagents or reagent near the end of their shelf life can cause non-linearity. Please watch my channel for calibration failure and corrective actions to understand the calibration errors. The common error in post-analytical error is the transforming the data from the instrument to the graph and in survey transcription of the data onto the submission forms. The data entry should be checked and confirmed by another person. Possible manifestations, large difference between replicates for a single sample, standard deviation exceeds allowable random error. Here we can see the difference between each run when they are run three times. The difference between the lowest and the highest level should be within allowable, total allowable error. How to investigate? Exclude clerical error in recording of results. Review specimen handling, reconstitutions, storage, mixing, etc. Review quality control data. Perform sample precision study. Evidence of bias. Bias is an average deviation from the true value. There are two types of bias. One is proportional bias and other one is the constant bias. Proportional bias in this graph, the green line is the expected results or the true value because when we use the commercial samples, these samples are analyzed in many instruments and by different methods. So these samples were values are taken as true values. The proportional bias is dependent on the analyte concentration. As the analyte value increases, the test results reading lower the values. This is called negative proportional bias. When the true value increases, the test value also increase above the true value in positive proportional bias. Constant bias. The test value increases from the true value from the low sample to the high sample at a constant level. This can be 
called positive constant bias or negative constant bias. Graph is not linear in the lower limit. Here, the lower sample is not in the linear range. We need to check the linear level by diluting the level to with level 1 to get the range between level 1 and 2. And further dilutions may require to find the linear low levels. The instrument manufacturer may be contacted to get fixed to the lower limit or we need to change the lower limit, the lower level of reportable range and analytical measurable range. The instrument should be thoroughly checked for any issues before changing the ranges. Same procedure applies when the high level is not linear. Usually the analytical measurable range or the reportable range is fixed during instrument validation when the new instrument is installed. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.